Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's crack on with this material. We're going to start by adding a color ramp. So press Shift A and type color. Plug the color from that into the base color on the principled BSDF. We're going to change the colors here a bit. I'm going to do this uh, hue as 0 0.05, saturation as 0.85, and the value at 0.32. For the other color, I'm going for 0 0.05 on the hue. <coughs> excuse me, 0.9 on the saturation and 0.75 on the value. Now we're going to add a noise texture and plug the factor from that into the color ramp. And then press Control T to get the mapping and texture coordinate plugins for the texture and change that to the object vector. Add a bump node and plug the normal from that into the normal from the BSDF and the factor from the noise texture into the height of the bump. Just shifty around the darker of the two colours a little bit towards the end. Then change the scale on the noise texture to 1.5 and the detail to 15. Roughness to 0.75 and the distortion to 0.75 as well. And then the strength of the bump node to 0.2. We're not going to make too many changes. In fact, I don't think I'm going to make any changes on the principled BSDF apart from adding a clear coat of 0.2 and a clear coat roughness of 0.25. Just going to increase the detail a little bit to 16, then the X scale to 6. Now you can obviously play around with the different settings here to get a different result and use different colors. Um, but those are the main key elements and the main settings that we would change for this particular texture. As you can see, I'm just fine tuning and just mucking around a little bit with different aspects of the node structure, including the color. When I'm happy, I would then obviously send it off to render to double check the final result. I've used a thousand samples. Obviously, if that's too much for your computer, drop it down a little bit, maybe to 500. Otherwise, you can just run with it. Don't forget it's available on Gumroad and please remember to like and subscribe before you go.